Hi there, it's Umesh Damania, and on today's video, I wanna cover with you three ways to get people to listen to you when you talk, okay? Yes, you heard right, three different ways how to grab their attention. Now, whether you are leading a meeting or doing a presentation or even just chatting to someone for the very first time, grabbing their attention and keeping it uh, of those that you're having a conversation with is absolutely essential for getting what you want. So, you see, when we, you know, back in the day before the advent of internet communication, everyone used to engage in face-to-face -face communication. But nowadays, oh my Lord, do you know what? So many people feel uncomfortable talking in front of a group or even chatting to people on a face-to-face -face basis, on a one-on-one. -on -one. So how can you get your audience to sit up, pay attention and hear what you've got to say? Well, I've got three really, really simple insider tips to get you started, okay? Number one, it's really simple. Just get to know your audience. Before you speak to any group of people, it's really important to understand who your audience are going to be. If, say, for example, it's a formal event, you can check the attendee list to get a bit of a feel for who's attending. If it's something that you're gonna be doing, say, for example, through a Facebook events page, Again, you'll get a chance to see your attendee list and you can probably have enough time to do a little bit of digging around to get a feel for them. If, say, for example, you're doing a webinar to a load of newbie internet marketers, say, for example, then, do you know what? You're going to lose them if you're talking about things like split testing and ROIs and so on, you know, especially if they don't even know how to buy a domain name or load WordPress onto a domain. So... Once you have an idea of the types of people that you're gonna be speaking to, think ahead, think about what it is that they want to hear and what it is they already know so you can tailor your speech accordingly. Then spend some time trying to find the best possible way to give them what they want while saying what you need to say to them. Make sense? Number two, control your delivery. When a tad nervous, we often pick up the speed of what we're saying. Even our pitch starts to go a couple of octaves higher. Sound familiar? You see, I think you need to just slow down a little bit. You need to take a couple of deep breaths of you, as you speak and just control your pitch and pace, which allows you to pronounce yourself clearly. Now, a great little tip here is that if you find yourself, you find your voice cracking up because it's nervousness or dryness kicking in, just stop for a moment drink some water, and then continue. The reason you do this is because it then helps you to control your pace and it helps you to control your audience, okay? Number three, just be more confident. When you're looking to get the attention of others, it's important to show your confidence in the things that you have to say. You know, what impression are you gonna leave your audience if you come out and you're saying things in a really timid, shy way and you're stumbling over your words? It's not gonna go great, is it? So, I'll need you to stand tall, hold your head up high and speak clearly with a strong, determined voice. Remember that taking deeper breaths oxygenates your blood, it clears your head and it relaxes you and this helps you to think more clearly as you deliver what you need to say. So let me ask you a question. How do you keep your listeners listening and engaged? Do you do anything out of the ordinary that you'd like to share with us all? I'd really be interested to hear. So why don't you do that and comment below? And that's pretty much it really for today's video. Just three really simple tips to start thinking about how you can do those type of things. So before I wrap up, I wanna ask you a couple of favors really. If you have the time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel below. Um, there's a button there, and that way you'll get to see about every video that I, I create. Secondly, hit the like and share buttons, and let's spread this message um, around with people that might be interested in it. And do you know what? If you've got anything further to add, then just drop it in the comments box below, and I'd love to hear about it. And finally, if you're really liking what I'm doing, then I've got a special gift for you. There's a link in the description box below. It's a mind conditioning track to help you to start creating the type of changes that you're looking for. And it's free as my gift to you. So all I need is your best email address so I know where to send it. 
Okay, that's pretty much it for today. I hope it helps and I'll speak to you soon on the next video. Take care and bye for now.